good day and today I'm putting together my little terrarium. We bought it in a previous vlog. It's, I think it's quite lovely. We got it at a good price at uh, Home Goods, a big box store. And then uh, I had a few different plants I was trying to decide on using and then I think I've decided to do this little fern. And oh and just to share the fact that I'm so excited and happy that I planted these crocus as well as these daffs. I planted them before Christmas, hoping actually that the daffs would uh, flower like a paper whites would, but I didn't do paper whites this year because I thought if I did daffs, then I could enjoy them uh, year round outside as well. So, but I'm pretty excited that the crocuses are now blooming. I'm finally doing the little terrarium. And I was just going to do the single plant, but I'm actually thinking about taking this dragon's tongue, which I bought, um, I think it was on a trip I did to Lowe's. I had some errands to run. I'm thinking I might be able to take a couple little uh, babies off the side of it to uh, add to this. We'll see. So what I'm going to be doing for this is, and I thought about the coleus as well, but I think I'm saving that for a larger terrarium. And then I have my little handmade mushroom, which I made from foam clay and just painted with Posca pens. And then I have the moss that we gathered the other day on our woodland walk. I have some uh, dried, which I dried myself. This is some lichens I found in our woodland. And I keep some wet or moist in a closed aquarium to use. And then sometimes I dry it out like this, which is nice. It kind of is I consider it preserved, although I haven't added anything to it. I've just let it dry naturally. And then I have some aquarium gravel, which is just simple gravel. I have basic potting soil. And then I always like to add when I do a closed terrarium. Um, I have uh, a plant food. I do like this, uh, this Dr. Earth is pure gold. I'm not even sure if they make it anymore. I remember I was at a store and they were marked down quite a bit. So I was worried they were going to no longer carry it. <laughs> so I bought, I think I bought the last six bottles. So I haven't had to find any for a while. Um, but I use this for my houseplants as well. But um, it's the type, I, let's see, what does it say? Oh yes, it's um, basically you pump now, water later. So what I do is I just add a little pump to the soil before I put the, uh, the, the lid on finally, just to give it that little boost of um, nutrients. Because you are keeping a closed in environment um, and the goal is to keep it closed. So, and uh, we'll see how that works out. And this is the first time I'm using my foam clay, which I've just started to learn to play with. Uh, I put a matte uh, sealer on that, so we'll see how that takes. I'm hoping it won't mind the moisture. So I'm gonna just put a bit of, uh, and hopefully the lighting's okay. I'm sitting, rather than being in my studio or even out my plant room, which is sort of torn up right now, I'm sitting in the uh, main sitting room here. And I'm not sure if you can see out the windows. These are the big windows that face um, portion of the harbor. And of course, there's that window, which is sadly fogged from an old hurricane. But um, the sun was out, but now you can see it sort of behind the clouds, but you can see the sparkle of the sea. I'm just going to be taking the moss I gathered, picking maybe a baby of this dragon's tongue, and then using this fern and making this sweet little closed terrarium. So let's see how that goes. I'm gonna start by adding just a little bit of aquarium gravel. Basically, I just put a tiny bit of damp aquarium gravel in the bottom. Now, often I'll put charcoal, but I'm out of charcoal and I haven't had time, so I can sprinkle some in later if I choose. Usually it doesn't matter as much when you're doing a closed terrarium because charcoal is more for keeping the smell down of moisture, and it's usually not an issue when you have a closed uh, terrarium. So then I'm going to be adding some soil. That way, that little bit of gravel, I think anyway, allows there to be enough drainage so it won't get overwatered. And I'm only going to water it, slightly dampen it, and then I'm going to just mist it every so often. But you can see there's just a tiny bit of gravel underneath. And then I can take this plant out and pop it in. I think I'm going to just go ahead and take some of the moss that I collected like this, and we'll put it down in there. And then I'm going to 
have a little fuss about with it and see if I can get my little mushroom to fit in there. I've actually taken the plant back out because I realized because of the shape, I kind of, you know, you kind of have to adjust how you do things based on the container. Because this container has this really pretty narrower top before it bows out, I actually took the plant back out. I've just set it in the cup where I have my extra aquarium gravel. And I'm actually going to place my various uh, moss around the outer edge, the more living moss, and then I'll put preserved moss and lichens around that. Um, like I have some other pieces, like these kind of pretty pieces like this that I've collected and dehydrated from trees. So I'm going to place living moss around the outer edge where I have the soil. I'll plop, pop the uh, little fern back in the center, arrange my little decorative features, and then I will show it off. And oh, and of course, after I get the plant in, and uh, before I put in my final decorative features like the little mushroom and any other little things I would put in, I'll just give this a quick squ squirt just to give it a little extra feed to get its life started. So what I've done is I've planted all the living ferns and that created a little hole in the center so I was actually able to get a tiny bit more soil down in the center before I placed my fern. And prior to placing the fern, I gave a quick little squirt with the Doctor's Earth uh, pure uh, pump and grow. Just a tiny, tiny little squirt. I'm not sure. I was going to take some aquarium gravel and place it around the outer edge, but I think I kind of like it without that, so we'll see. I'm going to uh, give it a go and we'll see what we come up with and uh, we'll go to the next take. I like how this turned out. I didn't do too much. I'm glad I'm glad I've decided to just make this a single plant terrarium because I think for a container the size it's perfect. And you can see I started to put some of the aquarium gravel but I wasn't quite happy with how it looked so I kind of stopped. Because in this case I do think that just the moss is going to be worth it. And this is still living moss that I collected from our own woodland so it should be quite happy and we'll send out all sorts of new little tendrils which I think will be beautiful. Then you can see the little foam clay mushroom that I made. And even though this is just a single fern, and look at that darling new little shoot coming up, because it's uh, because of the habit of this particular type of fern, and I'm I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the the name of this particular fern, um, but because of its habit, it just it rather than looking like a single plant, it almost has the vision of the forest floor. So of course we'll put our lid on. And this is a nice heavy lid, so I think that looks really lovely. So I'm quite happy with it. So, as you recall, we started out one day buying this container. Another day we made some foam clay pieces, this little mushroom. I bought, I don't think I took you when I bought this plant, but it was on one of my mini trips to Country Garden. And then, of course, on one of our woodland walks, we collected this moss. And, of course, remember our woodlands, we own the woods, so uh, I don't recommend taking moss from public places unless it's allowed in your state, but in our case, we own the little bit where the moss grows, although often in your own garden, even if you have a tiny city garden, you can find moss. So I think it's really quite lovely, even like this next to my blue and white planter with a crocus blooming. I think it's quite lovely. I feel bad that it's backlit, but here, let me move it to the window by the sea. Now, of course, I won't leave it in bright sun like, like this. I think I'm going to, I have a little space, which I'll share in another vlog. I have a little a closet I've painted out and put some shelving in in my um, studio in the house and I'm going to slowly start adding a little collection of terrarium. So this is basically the first one. It's the next morning and we had a magical snowfall overnight so I'm just outside quickly with the sunrise just to show you the final piece. Now, of course, I won't keep it outside, but I just wanted to share it with you with the beautiful background of the snow and the sunrise. So thank you for joining me for today's fun little tutorial of making a one-plant terrarium. And I hope you uh, find a moment in your day to indulge in your own passions. And until tomorrow, remember, stay creative. Cheers. Cheers.